Now, despite the high quantities of carbonates available within lake sediments, uranium thorium dating remains difficult in these environments due to the introduction of thorium into the partially open system, usually via detrital material. This can be potentially corrected for by measuring thorium-230 to thorium-232 to estimate the quantity of detrital material, as I previously mentioned. Furthermore, mollusk shells and foraminifera found within sediment cores have been shown to exchange uranium after deposition, challenging the use of uranium-thorium dating in this context. So this type of analysis is not suggested without consultation with the lab that you're working with.